Hello Live Wires, Heather Boyd Wire here. Today I want to give a big shout out to the lovely bead company on Etsy who supplied me with these beautiful miracle beads. As you guys know, miracle beads are my favorite beads. Miracle beads are also known as magic beads. They were originally made in Japan and they're also known as Japanese miracle beads. They are acrylic resin beads that have a lucite core with a silver mirror plated finish. They are coated with several layers of colored lacquer. When they're viewed in the light, they appear to have a bead inside a bead. The light passes through the lacquer, which reflects the mirror core back through the layers. This results in an illusion of depth. Miracle beads don't glow in the dark, but they do glow in the light. I love these beads because they're super lightweight, the colors are gorgeous, and they also have a larger hole so you can often fit two wires through the bead. Today we're making dragonflies. I'm using 20 gauge wire and my tools, and I have these miracle beads from Lovely Beads. I have 6 millimeter, 4 millimeter, and 8 millimeter beads. So we're going to start with an 8 to 10 inch piece of 20 gauge wire and just turn the end into a little loop. We're going to add our 4 millimeter miracle beads and then two 6 millimeter beads after that. And then the head will be an 8 millimeter bead. But before we add the head, we're going to form the wings. So just turn it to the side and curve it around measure the length that you want it could be three quarters or one inch depending on how wide you want the wings curve it around again measure it the same size on the other side and then just do our little bend it's making a sort of infinity sign formation that's our basic shape for the wings and then after that you can just repeat the infinity sign the same size so you have two sets of wings so we're just going to curve it around just hold it with the pliers and curve it around with your finger curve it right around just tracing the first wing to get them the same size do any adjustments you need as you go so they're identical there and once you've done the wings, you're going to take the end and just wind it around once to secure it in place. Give it a good little tug. You could do it a second time to make sure it's very secure. And then bend it straight up. After that, we'll put the head. I'm using an 8 millimeter miracle bead. Clip the end to about 3 eighths to half an inch. And then take our round pliers or our bail making pliers and just do our little loop at the top to hang it up. And then I found it had a little bit too much slack for the beads. So I'm going to just make that little loop at the bottom a little bit bigger so the beads are more snug. So from there, we want to open up the wings. We're just going to spread them out. Do any little adjustments and then we can curve the tail and there you have your super sweet dragonfly so for the earrings we're just going to take a 10 to 12 inch piece of wire and in the center we're going to use the round pliers crisscross the wires and then just hold it with the flat pliers and twist now it's important to keep the wires out at an equal angle so the twist is even. And then after that we're going to split the wire and curve it around to form the wings. Now if you're making earrings, you can put both earrings together to line them up to make sure they're the same size. Hold the wire and just bend it in so you have the same width of the wings. You can also measure these if you prefer with a ruler. So then you can just separate them and you can curve around the wings to the shape that you like. So just curve it around. 
This time I'm doing a little bit different. Rather than doing the infinity sign, I'm just going to do the wings one underneath the other. So just keeping the wire to the one side and we're making two identical wings. So curve it around and then we can just bend the wire straight up. So we'll turn it and do the same on the other side. Curve it a little more if you need to and bring it around. Curve it with your finger and then in the center or just a little bit to the left or right of the center we're going to curve it around so we have the wings that are identical and then bend the other wire up. So there we have the wings we're just going to take one of the wires and curve it on a diagonal to hold it all together and then have the wire go straight up. So now we want to put on the bead for the head and I love these miracle beads because they have a large hole and you can put both wires through. This is a six millimeter bead and it still has a decent size hole which is great. So from there we're going to clip them to about a quarter inch. You don't want the ends to be too long so we're going to clip both wires and then take our small round pliers and curve the wire around. Now this serves a dual purpose. This holds the bead in place but also kind of looks like the eyes of the dragonfly. So we're just going to curve it around and there we have what looks like the eyes of the dragonfly and you'll also be able to hang a jump ring or earring hooks on one of the loops. So just flatten them out a little bit with the flat pliers. Now you're going to spread open the wings as we did before. Try to go the same direction on both sides so they look similar and then we'll just curve out the tail a little bit. It just looks more fun when the tail is curved. It looks more whimsical. You can do it by hand to make any little adjustments that you need. And then after that I'm just going to take a surgical steel earring hook or you can make your own hooks as well. We're going to close it up. Just decide which side you want to hang it on. I did it the hooks on opposite sides and there we have our cute little dragonfly earrings. So thanks so much for watching the video. Give it a big thumbs up if you liked it. Be sure to subscribe to my channel for lots more wire art and jewelry making videos. And if you'd like to share photos of your wire art and jewelry, be sure to join the Wire Makers Club on Facebook. And if you'd like to check out my work on Etsy, my husband and I specialize in custom wedding cake toppers and funky jewelry. I also have a mailing list, so if you'd like to sign up below, I'll send you my Wire Art Essentials ebook. So thanks again for watching, and we'll see you the next time.